How y'all doing tonight? Man, I got this freeze glass here. Y'all saw me do a review on these a while back, man. This is really cool. We're talking about keeping your pops cold. Anyway, tonight I decided I was going to cook me a real steak. I've been, been on a steak kick here lately. I got me a real chop house style uh, New York strip. Let me show you. I mean, this thing here, yeah, I mean, that's, that's a real beauty right there. Let me get a ruler out here and show you just what we're dealing with. I have some rulers around here somewhere, okay? Look. Let me stick that dude. About, about two inches, two inches, maybe a little bit more, about two and a half inch thick New York strip steak, about a pound, three quarters. So, got it rubbed down with a little bit of salt and pepper. We're going to start it tonight on the grill on a salt block. Kind of slow cooking on that salt, you know, with that big thick piece of meat. That way that salt won't burn or char the outside. It'll just give it a good flavor, seal everything in. Then, when I reach about the desired temperature for medium rare on the inside, I'm going to throw it on the main grill and give it a good sear, y'all. So let's get started on this big old chop house steak. Hey, right, y'all. We're outside now. I got the barbecue dragon going on my... My grill over here. Let's see if y'all can see it. Moved it out so we can get so much smoke. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. Uh, we'll be ready here in just a minute. I just had this thing on low because they more cold to get ready too soon. See how I'm moving around a little bit? That tends to help. I'll be ready in just a second. I've got my salt block inside heating in the oven. It's been slowly staging up from 250 to 350 to about 500 degrees so I can get that put it on here as soon as the coals are ready all right it's been about five minutes eight minutes or so and uh the dragon's got this thing just where it needs to be go ahead and take that barbecue dragon off i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna dump these coals down here y'all get this stuff like it needs to be see that there oh yeah look, look man this this royal oak is some really good really good charcoal is Oh, man, Royal Oak, you can't beat this stuff. Listen to that crackling. All right, so we take that. Go ahead and put my griddle on here. I'm going to go inside and skip my salt. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put the salt on here just like this, y'all. Oh, yeah. Let that sucker start really heating up. Look, while this salt's sitting here heating up like this, I'm going to go ahead and see all this white stuff. That's where the water came out. You know, when the water starts coming out of salt, when you're heating it slowly, you know, it brings some salt particles out. So that's all that is. You can scrape that stuff right off the top, just like that, with this little razor. That's nothing. You know, nothing going to hurt you. But we'll go ahead and let this sucker sit here and just get it hot. Now that the salt's been on here for about 10 minutes or so, had a chance to really heat up, I'm going to flip it over. That way we'll put the steak on the very hottest side, y'all. Oh, yeah. That's that's what we're gonna set that steak on. We're gonna go get that old steak. So we got the steak here. Look at this sucker. Go ahead and sit this bad boy on there. Let it begin to sear. Now I'm gonna take my gloves here. I got a piece of hickory here. I'm gonna set this over here to the side. It'll catch. I wish I had one of those brakes, you know, to do whatever. Let me get a uh, top for this. I'll just watch that sucker sizzle here just for a minute for me. Alright. We'll go ahead, put this top on here, y'all. And we'll let this thing go for a few minutes on that side. Well, it's been about four minutes or so on that side. I'm about five, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this guy. Look at that, man. Beautiful, beautiful sear on that thing. Look at that, it's gorgeous. Get to zoom y'all in for that. Look at that. That is something to be seen right there. Oh yeah. Mm 
But y'all, I had to go ahead and move underneath the light here. I'm kind of losing daylight. I'm going to hit flip this guy over here on this fat cat that's got. Look at that. Oh, yes, sir. I'm going to flip that fat to there and says a few minutes. Oh, yeah. Man, that's going to be good. All right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and flip it over here to the other side with a little bit of fat on there. I'll tell you what, man, this is. I love how this is sounding, smelling. I mean, this is gorgeous. Go ahead and put that on there. But we can still get some a little bit of smoke off that hickory chunk. Let that go just for a few minutes. What I think I'm going to do with this one being so thick, I may just put a probe in it just to see. I'm curious. See how I'm going to do this. I'm going to run a probe out the top of this thing. Let's see. Let's see if it's high. Okay. Got that. I'm going to stick this dude. I don't know about that far down in there. Something like that. Now I'm going to go get my eye grill too and just see what's going on with all that. All right, I'm showing. Heck, I'm down here at about 1, 135, and that's just where I want to be. So. I think I'm gonna let this go and sear just for a second on that little piece of fat. And I'm not gonna to sear it any on the um, on the grill grill. And I think it's got a good enough sear on it. We'll pull it off and let it rest, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this bad boy. Oh yeah, look at that. Let this guy rest. Put a little butter on him though. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and see. Get all this junk out the way. Got my steak tinted here, had some bit of butter on it. Let's untint this dude. Look at oh look at that y'all. All the juices and everything. That's beautiful right there. And I got the baked potato. Go ahead and cut into this bad boy. See what we're dealing with, y'all. Look at the juices. I'm telling y'all what. I'm excited about this. Oh, look at that. Nice, medium rare. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cut a nice little slab out of that. Look at that, y'all. Look at that's cooked. I mean, that's a nice piece of meat right there, y'all. Oh, yeah. Y'all, let's just give them a try. Oh, yes, sir. Damn, it's going to be a piece here. Try this for the flavor. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Tell you what, just strip steak. Mm. It's got some serious flavor, y'all. That is a wonderful big old chop house piece of meat, man, with a lot of flavor in it. New York Strip, man, never overlooked that cut of meat, especially if you can get a big, thick cut like that. Talk a little bit more about that here. You know, the grocery store you go to says a lot about them, or the butcher, that they'll custom cut you a steak. For instance, I'm taking a new job about an hour away from home, but in that town, there's a Kroger there. And, you know, I like to go to a private butcher when I can, you know, like, you know, some of the small butcher shop, but in you know, most days, like today, I had to go to Kroger. Well, the ones around here in my town, man, they just don't like to cut you a steak. You know, oh, we have plenty out here. Just choose one of them. Well, look, I'm going to tell you what. I've been over this new Kroger since I've been working over there for about a month now. About three different times. Each time I've gone in, they've had plenty of steaks laid out there, and I've asked them, will y'all cut me a steak? And man, they've been more than happy to cut me up two, three inch. They cut me a big three inch fillets. Last week, man, they cut this New York strip. I'll tell you what, that says a lot about that store. Now, whether or not the chain of Kroger or what's going on with the management there in the meat department, man, that's cool. If you're a grocer or your butcher or whoever works in your meat department, they won't cut you a steak. They tell you, you got to have what's in the chest, man. You need to find somebody else. That's what I did. And I told them, I said, I'll just assume buy meat. When I'm out of town over here, so I go over there several times a week, then having to buy it, you know, back home because you're giving me a lot better service. You're giving me what I want. And I tell you what, that says a lot, y'all. 
And when you get prime, no primes, not primes, USD choice, USD choice, but when you get a nice cut like that, y'all, I mean, that, that's a thing of beauty right there. And you can get the service with that. That says a lot about, about the place where you buy them, man. And that's cool. So, anyway, have a talk with your local butcher. I'll see if he'll cut your own steaks for you and stuff like that. And I'll always make you buy the, you know, the case there. But just wanted to show y'all these New York strips that I had tonight or this strip. Thank y'all. Oh, by the way, hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already subscribed to my channels if you like my videos. I really appreciate y'all. Subscribe. I'll have plenty more coming to you.